Hello again guys, Sam Say Wolf here, once again, but this time without my wine glass and my face. Oh, you're happy not to see my face? Well, that's really nice to hear. Because right now we're currently on Facebook and I saw this suggested post. It's called, it's from Offbeat Quizzes. And the quiz is, can we guess your education level based on the history you know? And it says to flex your knowledge. And please ignore the fact that it is currently Adolf Hitler on the front. Remember, this is based on knowledge of history, so do not take offense to him being there. So, I guess I'll just have to blur him out. Just do not pay him any attention. He does not need your attention. He's not to be worried about. Okay, now, uh, this, this looks bad. I, I can't, shit, can't see shit. Uh... Let me try to fix this. There we go. That should be good for you guys. Is that good for you? I think it's good. Okay. Okay, let's start over. Let's start over. Because I did do this. I was just going to do it for fun. But I decided to do... Oh, yeah. Thank you, Barry Bash. Thank you so much. I'm going to put it right here. And this should be good enough. I'm sorry if y'all are getting annoyed with this. But I'm trying my best. Okay, I'm doing my best for this. Can we guess your education level based on the history? No. Number one, from what country did the U.S. gain? Well, we already know it's Great Britain. You know, the good old GB. They're one of the best countries out there, even up today. The American colonies fought the Revolutionary War against Great Britain from 1776 to 1783. 70. Okay, I didn't expect to see a random old Hitler on there, but okay, that's okay, guys. No, he's number two. Which country was a member of the Axis during World War II? I don't want to say Japan was. I don't want to say Sweden was. Oh, shit. I'm going to go with Sweden, maybe? Oh. Oh, wait, no. Wait. I think they avoided the war, didn't they? I think they stayed back. The correct answer is Japan. The main members of the Axis were Japan, Germany, and Italy. Oh. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm a dumbo. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't know that. I, I don't know why I had Sweden on the brain. I had Sweden on my mind. Okay, don't judge me. Which president stewarded the United States through the Civil War? Abraham Lincoln. He's the one sitting there right now. Lincoln was president from 1861 through 1865 from, for the entirety of the Civil War. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, hello, Napoleon. Which general became Emperor of France? I'm pretty sure it's Napoleon. Yes, because he's the picture. As Emperor Napoleon ever saw the greatest expansion of French territory in history. Yes. I don't know who you are. So, oh, wait, you're Columbus. I'm pretty sure. Which explorer is often erroneously credited? Yeah, Columbus. Yeah. In 1492, Columbus sold the ocean blue as goes the schoolyard rhyme among Western European explorers, though Amerigo Vespucci, Vespucci, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, actually discovered the North American continent. Yes, that is true. And he just took it. He, he just took it. You know, he took all the credit because he wanted to feel like he was a total badass in discovering a whole new country. And I wish y'all would quit with the ads. Who was known as the Virgin Queen? Queen Elizabeth I? Yep. There we go. Elizabeth I, daughter of Henry VI, I think? Never married and thus was believed to have died a virgin. Oh, so sad. Not really. <laughs> huh. So she never married and she died a virgin. Possibly died a virgin. Huh. Okay then. That should, that's some new stuff for me. Oh, hello. Who commanded the Confederate Robert E. Lee? Yep. Lee's commanded the American of Northern Virginia kept the Confederacy in the war for far longer than it otherwise would have been. Yeah, Robert E. Lee was a total asshole too. Who wrote the Declaration, Thomas Jefferson? Yep. Sorry, I'm questioning myself, guys, because uh, I'm not too sure. Jefferson would later serve as third president of the United States. Oh, he did? Hmm. I, I didn't. Oh, shit. 
John F. fucking Kennedy. My good boy. I'm sorry you got shot in the head, though. I miss you. You're one of the best presidents in my mind. Man. That's not a good politician in the comments, okay, guys? So let's keep this civil. Keep it as civil as we can. Let's not choose. Man, man. Okay. Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested for assassinating JFK, though never convicted since he died before the trial. Though conspiracy theories surrounding his assassination have abounded in decades ever since. Yeah, that's something like, no matter what, they're going to be around. And what year did the Spanish Armada occur? Oh. Ah. Uh, huh. This is something I don't know. I'm just going to take a long shot and say 1588. Oh, there we go. The older years. Already's good. In 1588, the British utterly decimated the Spanish Armada. Firmly establish, establishing Britain as a formidable na naval power for the next 400 years. Oh, uh, hello, Hitler. I didn't think you would be back here. I'm pretty sure that's that person. Hitler became Chancellor of the Nazi Party, became the largest elected party in the German Reichstag. 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 I don't know how to pronounce this stuff, guys. Don't judge me. I clicked on add back. Excellent. Oh, hello. Who assassin whose assassination sparked the beginning of World War One? I'm pretty sure it wasn't Martin Luther King. I'm pretty sure it's the guy's name I can't pronounce. Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Why would Martin Luther King's death spark World War One? Why? I don't, I don't see how that would spark World War One. Sure, it probably spark a revolutionary war, maybe. Maybe. No, because it, no, it didn't. Huh. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm just speaking out of my ass now. Ferdinand's death didn't directly cause the war. The reasons are much more complex than that. That was the power of verbal straw that broke the camel's back and plunged Europe into war. Oh, hello, you are a beautiful looking one. Who's posted the 95 theses on the church door effectively create? Oh shit, I do not know. Let's just say it was the Pope. Nope. The correct answer is Martin Luther. Lutherism is named after him. Oh, I should have just guessed that. <laughs> Damn. I'm stupid. Oh, hello. Which Roman Emperor had a Shakespeare. Uh. Julius Caesar? Julius Caesar, specifically around centers around Caesar's assassination and subsequently p political upheaval. I don't remember half this stuff. How many questions are there? Some bitch. Thought it was just gonna be like ten or something. I show you how these go. The true or false? Ancient Greek philosopher Socrates was executed for corrupting the minds of the youths. You, I think so. Yep. Oh, oh, hello, League of Legends. Thank you for popping up. Yes, please. Please continue installing. That damn messing thing up. I am so sorry. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Stop, League of Legends. Yes, please. No, don't launch right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Stop it. Okay, let's let's pretend that didn't happen. Basically, basically Sakurats had the wrong opinions, and his political opponents didn't like that about him. Hmm. I don't think people are... Which British king was known for divorcing or executing most of his wives? I think it was Henry. Yep. Henry something. Had six wives, two of whom were executed, two of whom he divorced, and had the marriage annulled. And one of the... One of whom died of complications from childbirth. I must have gotten bored, but okay. <laughs> Which is thus far the only country to have the United States. Seriously, do you have to ask that? I'm pretty sure France would never do something so stupid. The Americans dropped two atomic bombs on Japan during World War II, leading to Japan's immediate surrender. Well, I guess it's not stupid, but still. it. I feel like they went too far, were they almost, but oh well. Considering that shit can destroy the world. In which country did the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution occur? Uh, I think it was Russia. Yep. 
Well, I guess I shouldn't judge the use of atomic nukes because I think it was going nuclear on the Japan side. I'm not too sure. Which ancient civilization is responsible for building both of the pyramids in this Egypt? Okay, y'all making this too easy. Yeah, Egyptians, yada yada. Who conquered England in 1066? The only time a foreign army has ever conquered Britain in the last 1,000 years. Um, I like these names. Arthur Dion Reddy. I don't know how he'd con uh, conquer it, but there's also Steve. The guy named Steve. Steve the madly incompetent. Com I'm going to go with the guy that's madly incompetent. Uh, what the fucking guy that's unready fucking did it? The correct answer is William the Conqueror. What? How? William the Conqueror isn't a fucking thing down here, is it? No, it's not. No, when do you get William the Conqueror? They were not there earlier. I've only been seeing two fucking question answer things. Now you show me four? You some bitch! Fuck you! You need to show me all my fucking things. Come on. Okay, it's an ad. Are you sure? Are you sure the ad ain't covering something up? The Great Depression. Thank you. It, I, isolationism less says uh, fair economics and overconsumption led the almost total worldwide collapse of the economy in the late 1920s. No one would truly recover from it until World War II. Well, legendary Scottish, uh, please don't be covering up the right answer. Because I want to say I know this. I've watched the movie, man. I watched the movie so much, and when I get asked it, I can't fucking remember. Oh, come on. Go down, up, okay. What was Immortal, oh, what was his name? I really want to say William, but I want to say James Fraser too. Oh fuck. Um, I'm gonna go William. I feel strong with William. Yep, got him. Wallace staged the largest rebellion against the English crown in Scotland's history, and though he died, his allies ultimately succeeded in gaining some measure of independence from Great Britain. Also, guys, if you notice, whenever I have my webcam video in uh, the videos, you uh, should pay attention to I have a Scottish flag in the uh, background of my videos. So, uh, yeah, respect. Okay, which organization formed in the wake of World War II was designed to prevent events like that of ever happening again? United Nations. Oh, I wish it was called the League of Nations. That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> Sound like a superhero place. We are the League of Nations. If you dare disobey us, you will fall. Or something like that. I'm just trying to make it cool. United Nations, based in New York City, still serves in that capacity to this day. And people still hate them for some reason. I do not know why, because they seem to be really good for the world. What well, is the name for the period of artistic enlightenment? Mint and resurgence in Europe during the 15th and 16th. I want to say the Renaissance. I can't pronounce that word. The, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Began in Italy in the 15th century and kept going across Europe. Great Britain nobly had their resin larger than most countries for almost 200 years. Oh, that's Genghis Khan, I think. Which empire? I'm pretty sure it's Mongolian. Yeah, because that's a Mongolian. <laughs> Though Rome was considered a tremendous military power, its size was dwarfed by that of the Mongolian Empire at its height. Mongolia laid claim to Central Asia, Russia, China, Northern India, and, and the entire Middle East. Oh my. I don't know why, but I'm not even going to read that, but I'm going to say Roosevelt. Oh wait, there's two Roosevelts. There's Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Theodore Roosevelt. Who was the you? I think it was Theodore. Fuck! Damn it, Saban! How could you let this happen? Fuck! The correct answer is Franklin Delano 
Roosevelt. Well, when I think of that, I think Franklin D. Roosevelt. I don't know what the fucking D stands for in his name. FDR was president from 1933 until his death in 1945. The only U.S. president ever elected to more than two terms. He was elected to four. If I'm correct, the only reason he managed that is because he did it illegally. If I'm correct, that's what happened. He managed to keep being elected illegally, which could have got him arrested. Uh, Neil Armstrong, if it's even true. Armstrong's famous quote, One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, was actually a line flew. He was supposed to say, One small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So he, his quote was, One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now he's supposed to say, One small step for a man, and one giant leap for mankind. So he forgot the A, but does it sounds better when he says man. One step for one small step for man. Eh, either way, it's good. It's good to go. Oh hello. Okay, my OBS is still on this right. Okay, good, 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 good. The period of violence list conflict between America and the USSR. In the wake of the World War Two is known as what? The Cold War, I think. Yep. Though the two powers came to the brink of nuclear destruction multiple times during the second half of the 20th century, the Cold War thankfully never became hot with actual direct military conflict. Oh, here we you. I'm going to say Alexander Great. Or, oh, wait, now you got stole those too. Which Greek general conquered huge amounts of land? Alexander Great, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Alexander the Great was actually one of Aristotle's pupils. Well, technically, I guess you could say Aristotle did it then. In what, hmm, in what year was the United States Constitution ratified? Oh, this is a hard one. I do not know. Hmm, going low has been good for me so far. But maybe it was 1812. Because I do hear 1812. I played Fallout 3 recently. And I've had this quest where you get the Constitution. And I'm pretty sure I heard 1812. Nope. Fuck. Why Fallout 3? Why? The correct answer is 1789. Though the revolution ended in 1783. It took the U.S. six years to get its ex together and ratify the Constitution. In the meantime, the country was preceded over by the Articles of Confederation. In rich hey, 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 Ad, get off my shit. Thank you. Which of these religions is the oldest? Well, I know Scientology can't. So, it comes between Judaism and Islam. Christianity, no. Honestly, I would say pagan. I feel like pagan is the oldest religion out there. It's probably not around as much today, but I'm pretty sure pagan is the main one that's out there that is literally the oldest religion. But I'm gonna go with Judaism. Thank you. I didn't get to fucking read it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Meh. The Trim Emperor is said to have fiddled while Rome burned. I think that was Nero. Because Nero is a badass name. Just like Sabine. Oh yeah. Oh, I should have been nearer the Sable Wolf. And I don't have the same I don't have the same ring. Me. Yeah. I do like the name Nero though. Though the story probably isn't true, Nero was despised enough that historians were able to make this claim stick. So it's probably a false law in history. Eh. So they pretty much idolized them almost. Good job, Nero. <laughs> You're in the history books, even though it's by mistake. The ancient Roman capital is now Istanbul, but was... Hmm, I'm going to say Troy, because I like the name Troy. Aww. The correct answer is Constantinople. Yeah, I have a feeling it would be. The city was known as Constantinople under the Roman and... I can't say that, in Paris but had its name changed to Istanbul when the Ottomans conquered it. Why not name it Troy? Troy seems like a great name for a, a country city thing. I'm stupid. 
Okay, what's this? What is the collective name of the first ten min? Uh, I think the amendment compendium. I'm pretty sure. What? You said the first ten amendments, right? Yeah. The correct answer is the Bill of Rights. But there are amendments. The first ten amendments are widely considered the most uncontrollable. The, what? That, that's in the Bill of Rights? Really? I didn't know that. The, which British document signed in 1215 became the Western Law? I'm pretty sure it's not the United States Constitution since it's back in 1215. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless the uh, United States somehow came back into the past and signed it back then. <laughs> And King John was forced to sign the Magna Carta by unhappy lords, effectively putting the first ever limits on absolute British monarchy and establishing legal codes such as habeas corpus. Oh my lord. Oh, so I'm going to make this one the thumbnail because I think it's a little stupid that they put the United States Constitution. I wonder if anyone's ever clicked that. That's so silly. Someone probably has. Probably not knowing. <laughs> Probably didn't read. Who was the grandson of Genghis Khan who finally conquered China? Something his grandfather had aspired to, but was never. Able I don't know his grandson. I never read up on Genghis Khan. I only knew who Genghis Khan was. Uh, I'm gonna say this this one. Okay, good. Caliba Khan conquered China. Largely by turning the peasants against their ruling dynasty and helping lead a popular revolt. You know, I'm learning even though I don't know. Now, I'm getting a headache. Please, let the, I thought this was going to be a quick video. The United States Civil War was fought to rid the country of which institution? Lawyers. Yeah, let's get rid of them damn lawyers. <laughs> Slavery. As numerous of the Confederate States Articles of Secession plainly state, they were fighting the war over the continued existence of slavery. And awkwardly enough, there's some people in the United States that want that shit brun brought back. That's some fucked up shit people have in their minds. Okay? And I know I'm pretty fucked up myself, but that that's uh, going over the line, you know? Oh yeah, and also thank you for the... Uh, Kitty litter ad. I totally didn't uh, lose somebody that was very close to me recently. Thank you, ad. Thank you very much. Which series of wars saw the European powers fighting with Arabic armies in the Middle East during the Middle Evil Ages? The Crusades, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I love the Middle Eastern. Not Middle Eastern, not my fucking mind. They even said Donald Trump earlier this morning while I was trying to say something else. Oh my god. Uh, which, uh, the, there were four crusades from near the end of the 11th century. Uh, you can tell I'm getting bored because I'm learning shit. <laughs> century to the beginning of the 13th century. Okay. And as I was going to say, the medieval ages fucking enlightened me. I love them. Well, I don't love them, but I like the thought of them. Well, I don't like the... Nah. I, I don't know how I English this correctly. Which forced migration under President Andrew Jackson led to death of thousands of Native Americans. It's either the Trail of Tears or the Holocaust. Who, which forced migration under President Andrew Jackson led of Native Americans? Okay, so it's Native Americans. They don't have to be the Trail of Tears. Ain't no way in hell I'd be the Holocaust. 2,000, 6,000 Cherokees died as a result of the relocation. We take territory, and then we do bullshit like that. Awesome. Not awesome. Yeah. Which of the following wars was not fought to combat communism? Was not fought. Cold War was fought. War of 1812. There's a Korean War. Korean War. I might say that one. <laughs> Aw. The war of... What the fuck was the War of 1812? It sounded like a fake answer. Communism wasn't even theorized until several decades after 1812. 
So the war definitely could have been fought over. Oh, damn. I need to make some coffee. Oh my god, how many? Which French figure was famous for saying, let them eat cake? Oh my god, that was real? I'm going to say Marie, because it's a woman. On there, usually they have the answer right in the fucking picture. Though the quote has typically been portrayed as a callous disregard for the lives of peasants, this more probable, probably Queen Antoinette was so clueless she actually thought starving commoners should be given cake. Wait, it's more probably probable Queen so clueless she actually thought sorry. Wait, so did she give them cake? Um. So she, so there's a chance she wanted them to eat cake. Cause if that's true, that's fucking badass. Let the starving people eat cake. Though that's like something really bad to eat if you're starving. Though at least it's food, I guess. Which of the following groups was not targeted for extermination by the Nazis during the Holocaust? Disabled people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't help but see it. Okay, so there's the Jews. I can't get over disabled people. The Italians and Romani. I won't say disabled people. Oh. Uh, you know, oh, the correct answer is Italians. Italy was actually part of the Axis during... Okay. Oh. Fuck. So it wouldn't have made a lot of sense for the Nazis to target Italians. Why is the Seawood people there? Which Confederate state was the first to succeed leading to the U.S. and the United States? I think Montana? Nope. I do hear a lot about Montana. Though. The correct answer is South Carolina. Montana did not succeed at all during the Civil War. This would have been extremely difficult as Montana did not exist as a state until 1889, roughly 25 years after the O. Oh. Okay, that must be where I heard uh, Montana from, though. So, okay. I knew I had a I should have clicked that. What Japanese megalopolis... I'm gonna say Tokyo. Yep, because that's the best fucking place to go. Tokyo's rise occurred shortly after it was chosen at the as the home base of Tokugawa Ieyasu. I'm butchering these names so bad, I can tell. First shogun of the last of the Japanese shogunats. Shogunates. How would you pronounce it? I hope there's only like five questions left. I don't think it tells you how many there are or not. Now, the battle, now what battle in Russia was the Nazi tide turned back during World War II? Damn it. Stop yawning. I'm learning. Stalingrad. The long, bloody urban fight that was Stalingrad eventually helped turn back the tide of Nazi advance into Russia. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm gonna say women, because there's a woman there. <laughs> the 19th Amendment of the United States Constitution finally granting women the right to vote was passed in 1920. Also, they sure already had the right to vote. That's just my opinion, though. What system of government and Karl Marx considered the father of communism? Marx was all about the rights of workers and wrote both the communism, communist manifesto and das Kapital. What the hell was I trying to say? Number 48. Oh my god. This is why I'm getting tired because there's so many. It's boring shit out of me. What organization principally converted Jews and other non-Catholics Catholics to Catholicism under the authority of the Spanish crown. Uh, the Spanish question, I think. Yep. Amazingly, the question wasn't firmly abolished until 1834. Uh, which Roman Empire was adopted as Augustus? Augustus Cole, bitch. Sorry. I know it's not Augustus Cole, but I was thinking of Cole Train from Gears of War. Born Gaius Octavius. Augustus is considered the second of the legendary Roman leaders after his maternal great uncle and adopted father Julius. Oh, who are you? 
I, which of these what Southeast Asian country did the US fight a war against during the latter of the half of the 20th century I think it was Vietnam yep I fought a norm bitch the United States got involved in the war at the behest of the French during the 1950s and eventually became a quagmire that consumed Landon Johnson's presidential administration. Oh, please don't let there be more. Oh my god, there's more. Why? We're taking steps to end cancer. Good for you. I would join the movement if I had money to give you. The Duke of Wellington. The fear of Napoleon Bonaparte at uh, which major battle? Uh, Gettysburg? Fuck. I'm so stupid. The correct answer of, is the Battle of Waterloo. Arthur Wellesley, better known to history as the Duke of Wellington, defeated Napoleon after his return uh, from exile at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. Why? The United States was able to win the Revolutionary War with the help of which foreign power? Mm, the French. The extra is extraordinary and likely America will have won its independence without French aid. Wait, the French actually helped. That's up. That kind of shocks me. Which group was known for pillaging Northern and Western Europe during the Dark Ages? Vikings? Thank you. Nordic invaders, known as Vikings, were known for pillaging the coastlines of numerous European countries, particularly those of England, Scotland, and Ireland. Okay. Oh my god. To which country did the British banish criminals in the... Uh, pretty sure it was Australia. Australia's just filled with criminals, okay? <laughs> Australia's existence became as a penal colony after the Dutch were the first to discover it. Let's remember Australia. It was a fucking prison country. Oh my god. <laughs> what did Johannes Gutenberg introduce to Europe in 1439? I don't know why I was trying to say 93, but okay. I'm pretty sure it was the cotton gin. Never mind. My sureness did not go well. The correct answer is the print press. Gutenberg's introduction of movable type. Oh shit, I'm yawning again. Oh, fuck. Learning stuff makes me sleepy. Just like the normal person. Uh, movable type to Europe is widely regarded as the most important invention of the second millennia. We're honest, more surprised he didn't invent beard oil with that magnificent mane. Ah, uh, okay. He does have a nice little beard. Oh, hi. Edward Teach was very known to history by which name? Blackbeard. Yep, because he was a famous pirate. Variously known as Teach and Thatch, wherever his name was, he was widely regarded as the most fearsome pirate ever. Who wouldn't knew? Where was the largest battle of the American Civil War was fought? Uh, Pennsylvania. Thank you. The Thirty Day Battle of Gettysburg was the largest and costliest engagement in the Civil War and is widely regarded as the turning point for the North. True or false, the American Revolution was the last war fought between Great Britain and the United States. Um, I don't think so. The British and Americans squared off again in World War in the War of eighteen twelve, which ultimately ended in essentially a draw, so nobody won. The Hundred Years War was fought between France and which country? Uh, the Hundred Years War. I want to say Great Britain. Yep, GB is known for everything. Germany didn't actually exist until the late nineteenth century. That since the year Hundred Years Wars was fought from 1337 elite to 1453, that would have made it somewhat difficult for France to have squared off against the Germans. <laughs> yes, yes, it would have. How this bear? I hope this is the last one. Okay, Gandalf, which uh, painter is also Leonardo? 
Thank you. Leonardo had the misfortune of being born several centuries too early. As it was, he sketched ideas for things like helicopters and tanks. He probably best known for painting the Mona Lisa. Wait, so he sketched out tanks and whatnot too? That's pretty cool. Which war did the United States participate in? Surely, uh, I think it was the Gulf War. Damn! I'm stupid. The correct answer is the Korean War. The Korean War fought from 1950 to 53. It has never technically ended. North Korea signed an armistice, but never official peace treaty with the United States. What was the traditional name in the uh, samurai? Thank you. For all intents and purposes, samurai ruled Japan for hundreds of years until the decline following the Meiji Restoration of 1868. Oh my god, how many more? European residents began with uh, Thank you, Italy. Yep. Though we tend to remember the... Oh my god, let's just try to hurry this up. Which nation split off from India, I think, Pakistan? Yes. Okay. Which was the first emperor of China who unified... Uh, Mao? Damn. The correct answer is Quan Chi Huang. Born Zing Zyang. Okay. I understand. Which American army officer is best known for stupidly getting his man massacred in the battle? Um, I think it was George? Yes. Gotcha, George. Oh, hello, William. Which. Okay, which legendary Scottish revolutionary fought for. Uh, fought the British in the First War of the Scottish Independence? Okay, I need to take a drink of my water real quick because my mouth is fucking dry. I did not think this was going to be so long. Oh my god. This is like a legit fucking quiz. Okay, which legendary Scottish revolutionary fought? Oh my god. Was it? That's his name actually, Will? Will? Because now I want to say Michael. Michael. I'm, oh, I'm going to say, whoa, thank you. I don't know why, it's just because I answered Willem earlier. Eh. Which South African leader established an empire in South Africa during the early 19th century? Shaka. Shaka Zula. True or false, no U.S. president has ever served non-consecutive terms. Mm, no U.S. president. I want to say false, but that's how they worded it. No U.S. president has ever served none. That's false. Because some have only had one term. One and only one president served non consecutive terms of office. Grover Cleveland, the 22nd and 24th president of the United States. Wait, how was he both? Who was the 23rd? Which Indian leader? Oh, whoops. Which Indian leader? Uh, Gandhi. Thank you, Gandhi. Which Holocaust victim? Uh, Annie. Okay. Just trying to speed along now. Which Southern American sea was burned down? Um, in the Civil Only thing Miami was around back then. Miami did not see. Okay, it was around. True or false? Imperial China once had a female empress. True, because she's right fucking there on in front of me. Oh, hello, Martin. Which African American civil rights leader adopted uh, Martin Luther King? Thank you. Because I think Malcolm X was white, wasn't he? Pretty sure he was. Who am being the first working telephone? Alexander, I think it was. Yep, correct. Also, these ads are going nuts now because I'm trying to speak through this now. Relax, damn bitch. Stop it. True or false? A former United States president has also served as chief justice of, um, I think so. Yes, got him. Which Russian author is famous for writing War and Peace? Uh, Alexander. Damn. 
The correct answer is Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy is off the regard. Okay. I'm sorry if uh, y'all want me to read this, but it's gone so long I really don't want to read it. Isaac Newton, thank you. Okay, Newton, go away. Oh, look, he kind of looks like Eminem in a way. To what country did Loyalist Chinese forces under Chiang Kai-shek flee after Taiwan? There we go. True or false, you, the current now state of Texas was once an I uh, think so. Okay, I'm doing good so far. I wonder how smart I am. Kaltegi and General Hannibal Barca is famous for leading an army of what over uh, elephants? Yes. Uh, Hiroshima. Thank you. Yes, we know. In which British monarch held the rec oh she kinda looks like somebody I know. The record for longest reign until Queen uh Victoria Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Bye. Two assassinate president uh fuck, I think it was John. Fuck you, John. What land purchased the President Thomas Jefferson make in eighteen oh three from Napoleon Bonaparte in France? Louisiana Parkish. Okay. Which barrier separated the Eastern Communist Bloc from Western Europe during the Cold War? The Berlin Wall. Oh yeah. Just 24 questions left. You are truly a trooper. Keep going. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh. What is Polish born French chemist Mary Curry famous for discovering? Nuclear fission. Fuck! The correct answer is radium. Ah, fuck you then. Fuck your. Oh, she died from radiation poisoning. What was the secret code name for the research adventure that led to the creation of the first atomic bomb? The Manhattan Project. Which French farmer's daughter rose to become an army leader and was ultimately canonized as a Catholic saint? Mother Teresa. What? 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 I'm pretty sure it was. The correct answer is Joan the Ark of Ark. No one has made her new. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know everything, at least. I'm not too smart. Which invention revolutionized the American slave steam engine? Damn it! Oh, that's the speaker in there. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> Which South American Empire was, um, Aztec? I said Aztec? Shit! It gave me, it gave me a chance, I didn't take it. Which duo was legendary for exploring the western reaches of North America during the... Uh, Ab Abbott and Costello? Damn it, I'm just choosing the fucking war names now. Because now I don't really know anything about this shit. Damn it, the tree of World War One has also been called to document German humiliation. What truly what treaty is it? Uh Treaty of Yorktown? Damn it Uh which organization is the precursor wait, the League of Nations No. No way in hell League of Nations Nations actually existed. Are you serious? League of Nations actually existed before? The correct answer is League of Nations. Ironically, the president... Why the fuck did they keep that around? That sounded amazing. I like that. Which future president was the uh, Andrew Jackson? Thank you, Jackson. I finally got one right again. Yay. Which empire conquered the... I don't know how to say it. And held sway over the Middle East for nearly... Um, I want to say Ottoman. The Ottoman Empire finally dissolved in the wake of World War One. Oh, hello. You're supposed to be on the $20 bill, but I don't ever see her on the $20 bill. Which former slave is legendary uh, Rosa Parks? Wait, what? Oh, my God. It was Harriet. Fuck. Who was Rosa Parks then? Wasn't she the chick that... Oh, 
She was the chick that sat in the fucking bus and didn't want to get out of her seat. Damn it. Yeah, they say soon replace, but she uh, she's still isn't on there. Which legendary Chinese military thinker wrote The Art of War? Gun T? Damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty much fucked. I don't know any of these now. When, oh, God. I don't know why, but I saw, like, a fucking ghoul for a second from Fallout. What, uh, the Philadelphia Agreement? Damn it. I'm damn, I don't know any of these. Which of the following was not the original? California. Yay. Who led the Chinese Communist Insurgency to ultimately topple the country? Blah, blah, blah. Um, Bruce Lee. Damn it. I did because he was a really good fighter. He was buried in Chuck Norris, at least. Which were the first shots of the U.S. fired? Uh, I think it was South Carolina. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm glad. I'm glad I stuck with it. Which British king was known for his association with the Crusades? Uh, Richard Lionheart, I think. Okay, okay, I'm getting some of them right. Which prophet is considered the founder of, uh, I think it was Muhammad? Yeah. Okay, which future president was largely responsible for running the United States? Uh, Teddy. Teddy Roosevelt. Are you fucking kidding me? Damn it. I'm going to get dumb. I'm going to be so dumb. Which Russian leader was credited with modernizing the country during the 18th century? Ivan Terrible. Damn it, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna be so dumb with the results. The results are gonna tell me I'm pure stupid. I don't have no brain. True or false? The part of France. Oh, it's Hitler again. No part of France ever elaborated with the Germans during World War II. True. Damn it. Damn you, France! Which country is home to the pyramids and Sphinx? Egypt? Yay! Because I think Morocco's a town. What event happened in 1929 that helped cause the Great Depression? I think that was the stock market crashed. I don't know why Sweden invaded Finland would have had any cause with that, but okay. Which of the following countries was neutral during the World War II? I think it was Poland or Switzerland. Okay, there we go. The good old Swiss. They didn't give a shit. Ah, can we guess your education level based on the history you know? Your score, 73%. History, PhD. You know everything there is to know about history. I don't think so. I don't think I know everything there is to know about history. I started fucking up really bad around there. I started messing up really fucking bad around the end. Mainly because I'm tired and shit. And truth to be told, I don't know everything about history. I'm very sorry. Also, guys, if you want to see anything more about this, about uh, offbeat quizzes, let me know because they have Can You Name the Famous Works of Art? How Well Do You Know World War One? Can You Answer These Questions Everyone Should Know the Answer To? Could you pass a police exam? They have some really cool quizzes. Like this quiz right here. This is a lot more to it than I actually expected. But yeah. If y'all want to see more of this, let me know. Which I might do more just for myself, really. How long does this go for? Oh my god. It took me nearly an hour to finish this. That's not even funny. It took me nearly a fucking hour. This video is going to be like an hour long almost. Oh my god. Holy shit. It probably would have been over an hour if I kept on reading it. Damn. This was a long ass quiz. It was like taking a natural test, I guess. Holy shit. Anyways, I'm Sam Wolf. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll be catching you on the flip side. Bye bye. Also, just know I uh, keep saluting uh, at my uh, webcam that y'all guys are normally at. And, uh, well...
the camera ain't on, so it don't really make sense for me to be saluting y'all at the time, so, yeah. Bye-bye.